Super Electric Adventures here with another package in the mail from Japan. Got a little dented, uh, so hopefully, um, and they usually wrap these extra well, so we'll have to see how we go. Um, now, first item out it has been wrapped quite well without the old packing knife. from Japan, as most of my packages have been lately. Um, it's just a combination of, um, you know, it's the stuff that I'm after. Um, shipping's not very expensive, and also the price of the items aren't very expensive. So the uh, first one is a boxed Famicom game. Um, and I got this quite cheap, and I believe because they misspelt it. And it's actually a boxed version of Parodius for the Famicom and the box is actually in pretty good condition you can still see the classification sticker there the graphics look pretty cool for a Famicom game Let's open this up and see what we've got inside and it's complete as well so we have the manual and the cartridge is in excellent condition as well no lifts or anything like that I won't put that back in just yet. Um, I think that's the only Famicom title in here. Got a couple of CD titles here. Next. Okay, so um, going back along the Parodius theme for the Sega Saturn. We have the Parodius Deluxe Pack, so I believe this has the first two games in it. Uh, this is my first Parodius game for the Saturn. I've tried on a number of occasions to get the, um, the uh, copies of the Parodius for the Saturn because they're supposed to be quite good. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing what this is like. It's in really good condition, no scratches on the cases and has the spine card. Um, I believe I might have paid a little bit more for that, like you know, over ten dollars. Um, and the next one, I believe I got for about a dollar. It's got a little mark on the cover, uh, but it's Hang On GP95. So I've played Hang On on uh, the Sega Master System. Um, I don't believe I've even played the Mega Drive version, so this will definitely be a step up. And I don't mind racing games, I've been on a bit of a racing game kick lately. Uh, no spine card, but I mean, like it was only a bit over a dollar. And this looks good. And the next item that's in here, sorry, I'm going to get a bit of plastic cutting and ripping sound. Now, it wasn't listed as junk, and I do know that it's quite yellow. So, yeah, by now, I guess it's another system. Um, I don't know whether I can bleach it or anything like that, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, it is a Famicom 2. So, quite yellow, as you can see. Two controller ports in the front. And most importantly, it has the um, AV out in the back. Um, fairly standard uh, DC in, so we should be right there. Cartridge slot doesn't look too bad. Um, and it came with a similarly yellow by the looks of it. Yeah. Wow, even worse than the um, actual unit. No top bone controller. These buttons don't feel too bad. Um, I'm, I will have a go at bleaching it and see how we go. I mean, just to give you a comparison, that's my um, American one. 
versus that. So quite a big colour difference. Uh, very excited to get this because it means I can finally play some of my Famicom games. Um, so as long as it works, I'll be doing a gameplay of the Parodius game I got in this video. Um, and then I'll have a series of uh, working through I'm not sure if I'll do one game at a time and do a proper gameplay of each or do a couple of times um, plus I have some more Famicom games on the way that will show up at odd times um, just got a few coming uh, slow freight um, plus I have a couple of packages that are already here that I've set aside to go through at some stage so really looking forward to playing with this one alright let's go give those games a go Okay, as you can see, the Famicom Model 2 works perfectly, and so does the Proteus cartridge. It was extremely dirty though, I had to clean it a couple of times. Um, first to get it working so you could see something, and then to get a consistent picture. Um, so I may have to clean out the cartridge slot as well a little bit. But let's get started. I haven't tried out the controller yet though. Let's see how we go. So Proteus, you can select a couple of different styles. You've got the Penguin from Antarctic Adventure. You've got Twinbee, uh, the octopus out of... Um, I'm not sure what the octopus is out of. And then you've got the Gradius ship. Um, and you've got different firing mechanisms here. I'll go for, the, um, go for the Penguin one, because I haven't done that for a little while. Um, I'll do auto power up, because I obviously haven't played this version before, and easy. Okay, so you tap the B button to fire. Alright, I'm on auto power, whoops. I'm on auto power up, so um, it would help if I played a little better. The old adage when you're Alright, so a gradius thing, you collect, you shoot out formations of enemies, collect the things, and you get power up. So it's given me one speed in the auto. And now it's giving me bombs. Okay. And we've got the bells like from Twin Bee. So keep on collecting those, we'll get more power ups. Ah, not firing with the red one, that one red, red one should have given us another power up. So we'll be knocked back a bit. We got a speed because we had one left over power up. And like Gradius we'll get the same pattern, so that'll get us the bombs. Oh I missed that one. Ah. I'm not doing a very good demonstration. That's probably one of the worst demonstration of Proteus is ever. Uh, well, let's let's continue and we'll um, we'll go over a different um, go over a different ship type. It's a bit sad that I died so quickly on easy, huh? So now we're the twin B ship. So we've got a coin. Whoops, oh god, that was close. Didn't realise they came back on. Ah. Just those initial stages in these sort of games of getting powered up enough to have effective weaponry. So here we go, we've got a change of scenery. This is always so important that I um oh I've got a shadow, that's quite nice. We've got an extra life. As you can see it's quite colourful. Um obviously you know it has some restrictions because we're we're dealing with Famicom level graphics, but it's actually got 
quite a lot to do um, to do in the game. These blue backgrounds makes it a bit harder to see. And it's got a reasonable attempt at the music. Yes, yeah, my dog's back at something, so hopefully this is the end boss, is it? No. Let's see if I can get to the um, I'm sure the end boss looks like a ship. But this is quite an impressive version of the Parodius game. I'm actually really pleased to getting it, especially since I sort of collect the Proteus games as a, as a mini collection in my collection. The whole thing with these bells is you've, you've actually got to stop shooting them to collect them. Mm, a bit of stuff to dodge to get through there. That could have been bad. Quite a lot of slowdown now. Poor Famicom's having a heart attack with a game with this many moving objects on it. So we actually have a couple of Outriders now. And here we go is the boss, which is a large cat. And some de and has some dancing penguins on board. And blown up his face. And it's probably not too much of a challenge because of the slowdown. Power ups while we're blowing them up. It's taking a lot of hits to kill. Unless I'm supposed to hit, be hitting him somewhere else. So actually, I actually seem to have a set of boxing gloves that are going forward and hitting the character. thing. Yeah, and I reckon we've finished the level. So there's all Gradius type games, once you're fully powered up like this. Oh, okay, so that was a boss in between the bosses, isn't it? Got his shield penguins. It does suffer from quite a bit of slowdown though, so which is making it a bit easier. I think he might be dead. There we go. Defeated the first boss. What well, I said, it was on easy, so. And there we go, I'm nicely powered up. And then, of course, in this sort of game, if I die now, um, it would be a lot harder to catch up. Alright, we'll leave it at that, otherwise I could probably play this for ages, but this is a good fun game and I'll be looking forward to going, working through the Famicom games that I've picked up and I do have some more Famicom games coming, so look forward to some more Famicom gameplays. Alright, let's try those second games then. Hang on, GP 1995. Well, I reckon that's pretty clear what that game, this game is, so hang on GP 95. Good to have another racing game. Um, and obviously not much difference between the Japanese version and the English version. Bit of loading. Okay, we'll just go. Um, let's go. With all the defaults, just to have a bit of a race. It looks quite good so far. A few courses to choose from. Albatross Cliff Reef. Okay, sit back a little bit in my chair. <laughs> Get ready. I don't know what the controls are, so a bit of experimentation. Okay, so C. We're in all 
tight, okay? Good way to get used to the controls of the bike. This would probably work with my steering controller, which I didn't think about before loading this game, but anyway. Sharply. Once again, steering or controller would probably be better. Joystick's a bit harsh on cornering. Ooh. Ah! Oh, we get to see what the pit stop's like. Crash the bike. So in arcade mode, where we have to uh, get our time extended to continue. Whoops, too heavy on the brakes. Steering's just a bit too oversteer, I reckon it would have been much better with the driving controller. Take the time. Oh, just short. Game over. Well, that's not too bad. I reckon I'll um, put a bit more time into that one, because I said I'm quite into racing games at the moment, so enjoying those and that's not too bad version at all so i highly recommend it especially when i got it for i think less than two dollars so very good addition to the collection let's try the other parodius game this is gokadu or gokakadu parodius deluxe which i bought pack which i believe is sexy parodius i think so wonderful two different games i haven't played either of them so Okay, so I must have this. Okay, it auto selected, then I don't think I selected. So we'll try out the first one. The Proteus games are very enjoyable games. Bit of an intro. Obviously, with intros nowadays, you do need to be extremely careful as we'll get ourselves done in for copyright violation. So lots of different characters you can choose from. From all different games. I don't know what the stick means from. Yeah, let's go with the manga girl. And we'll go for auto again. Because I want to try and get somewhere. So we're just going to have A button. Very colourful. Okay, we have some auto fire. So we're in auto fire mode, auto power up mode. And I'm playing it properly, I'd prefer, always prefer manual power up selection. As you can see, the graphics are. So now we've got, you know, the twin B style bell collection power ups. So you make them red, you'll get power ups on them. And uh, one of them gives you a new life. Great. Probably should have turned the music off. But you can see, it's quite a good. Fun shoot em up. What the hell's that? Whoa. Makes it hard. 
Now being very star games, I am not easy. Just laying it on pretty thick and fast. Oops, ow! Just looking in the wrong spot. Okay, I've suddenly become very large. I can't shoot anymore. Well, I can just kill things, can I? So we're seeing all the of kittens and... Okay. I'm going to screen space a lot of the time here. Get that. Okay, so now I'm up against the boss and I've hardly got any barracks. I said I've never played this game before. Shoot, okay. Shoot the duck. Okay, not too hard. Do have to hit it a few times though. Hey, there we go, nice colourful explosion. And bug eyes, excellent. I'll just to show a little snippet of the next stage. And then I'll reset so we can go play the other game on the disc. So, fairly similar to start with in the power up stage. Got a bunny sidekick now. Cat came from under the water, so it's got a mask on, of course. I mean, the cheerful music in this is all part of this, so it doesn't matter if I can't put ads on it. Okay, so I had to go reset the system to get back to the second game. So this is the sequel to that game. I won't change the options. You can't turn the music off anyway. So this is more like Gradius 2 rather than Gradius 1 model. Go with the penguin again. I like the penguin. And we'll go auto power up just to make it easy for this demonstration. But I wouldn't normally select auto power up for these games. So, we've got similar gameplay, but the graphics are modelled after the um, second Gradius game. So we actually have a bit, you know, that next level of um, detail up. Okay, so as of all greatest games, it just takes a little time to get powered up. Um, and you 
do lose your power ups, it's usually when you start to suffer. So this one's not too hard, especially when you've got an auto fire joystick. The um, looks to be at a higher resolution than the other version. So I'll be interested to see whether this one suffers from slow down. It's an annoying enemy, that one. Get rid of him. Some of them have area effect explosions too. I don't think it hurts me, no. The only option in the music was to turn it from mono to stereo, so that's not really going to help with the gameplay. So as you can see, the level format is actually very similar to the other game. But we have a lot more colour detail in this version, so obviously this is probably the one to choose to play. They are subtly different though, so... I'm not sure if they can keep on killing the cat, however it just sticks around. It's gone now. And do we get the penguin end boss as well, after a little bit maybe? Okay, we're quieting down, so let's see what we get. His fire seems to be directed. I killed him already. So it doesn't actually seem to be as hard. Probably because there's a little bit more room on the screen. So we'll just do a little taster of the second level. Because otherwise, as I find these sort of shoot em ups relaxing, and I could play them for quite some time. Not to make silly mistakes. Especially when you've got it on auto, you don't even have to think. It usually does a reasonable weapon selection. Here we got the bubble. Which takes like shield. Yeah, so this second game is obviously a much more detailed one. section. Lucky we do have our bubble section on. Help there. Got that sweet. Maybe get our shield back soon. Yeah, this one. Starting to get a bit harder now. Oh, that's my shield. Okay. And this sort of thing just makes a Gradius like game more fun to play. And there's a cutesy theme. I said the music's wonderful. Like I said, I really doubt that I'll be able to um, put ads on this video, but we'll just we'll see. Doesn't really matter. Okay, next boss, which should be the walking along boss. Get the powered up. Get rid of these. Give them assistance before they cause too much trouble. As you can see, a lot more detail. And I'll probably stuff this up as I normally do. 
Oops. Ah. And I did. All right. Well, rather than um, bore you with this, I shall thank you all for watching. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers, especially uh, all my new subscribers. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and these wonderful Japanese pickups. Um, I have not regretted at all converting to pretty much Japanese only pickups now. Uh, really enjoying them. Um, so, catch you in my next video.